Hello, everybody! Hello, my name is Paul. Welcome, one and all. Now, playing the Leisure Suit Larry games has given me pause. <laughs> it's me. To think about uh, its creator, Al Lowe, who I had the pleasure to meet once at... Uh, was it Con Bravo? I think it was, in Canada, or was it MAGFest? One, one of the two. Anyway, uh, not met like had dinner, but at least got to shake the man's hand, which is amazing. So Al Lowe is the creator of... Leisure Suit Larry, a distinguished saxophone player, and rather wonderful, portly, bearded gentleman. He started his career um, as, as a public school music teacher for like 15 odd years. He taught himself how to program, and he started making educational games before he even got picked up with uh, Sierra. And then Sierra, I think he did a few little things with Disney projects, like he did Winnie the Pooh and Hundred Acre Wood, which I played as a kid, Donald Duck's Playground, which is this... And then the Black Cauldron, which I never played nor watched, honestly. So we're going to play the Commodore 64 version. There is a DOS version, but it is a really crappy translation. The music is terrible. The graphics are terrible. So we're going to stick with the Commodore 64 version. Because that's what I grew up with. Here it is. This is the intro screen. It took me forever to get my old Commodore 64 emulator to work properly, but I think we've got it. So I haven't played this game in, oh, I don't know... 20 years, <laughs> but I'd like to think that I've evolved as a human being. So we're going to go straight to the advanced level. All right. The goal is you work these odd jobs over there on the right to pay for toys and stuff over there on the left. And then across the train tracks, you're building a playground for Huey, Dewey and Louie, which doesn't sound like much. Actually, you know, it sounds like a lot. It's actually really cool. So let me show it off a little bit. So here is Donald. The music is just lovely. <laughs> So I was doing some testing. Now, the game is educational to mostly teach kids uh, how to make change. So you, you gain like 10 cents for doing odd jobs, then you put them together, then you buy stuff at the stores, and you got to make change, which is kind of nifty. So let's work our way around. Let's start with the simplest one first, which is probably this uh, apple throwing. I don't even know what this is all about. All right, so how long do you want to go? Oh, let's just show off everything. Let's do a one minute shift, shall we? There we go. And we're off to a fantastic start. Donald is angry at me already. So, yeah, it's super easy. Just match up the fruits to their bins and don't, don't drop them. It would be great. Otherwise, Donald Duck has a complete conniption fit. Now, on the beginner mode, which is usually what I played on this as a kid, um, you would earn, whoops, you earn one penny per thingamabob. But now that we're on advanced, Jesus criminy, be careful with these things. I'm sure that you paid for these first. This is your money and mine. Ugh. Um, what was it? See, but now we're making, what? Three cents per, oh, nothing per smash, nothing per smash. Stop smashing, please. There we go. It's also much slower, super easy to catch, and my God, I just love the little Glissando, I guess is what you call it. Like when you catch something and move back and forth. <laughs> this little happy face. This game just fills me with joy. Whoop. Thank you. All right. So now we got to figure out the plane game, which is pretty much almost the same thing, except now you're just matching up letters to letters. All right, let's go. Honolulu. Come on, give me Honolulu. Honolulu. There's one. Honolulu. There. JFK. Whoop. Honolulu. Go to there. Honolulu. Fantastic. Yeah, this is the way to make money. Come on, Honolulu. JFK, a little work too. Honolulu. Honolulu. Whoop. Uh, Honolulu. <laughs> Honolulu. Yeah, that's the way to make money. Whoop. No, no, nah, no, I don't want that. I want... Shit, I don't want Jacksonville. Actually, Jacksonville works fine. Uh, Honolulu. Oh, I missed it. Crap. Well, that's all right. Well, 90 cents for uh, 30 seconds work. Not too shabby. BTR. I don't know what that is, but good luck to you wherever you're going. So we'll get to your final destination as well. Dallas, go for it. Denver, all you. BTR, I don't even know if you're an actual place. So you're not. I'm not even picking you up. Dallas. Ah, crap. Still, $1.62 for one minute. That's not bad. Now, in the fruit picking game, I did awfully, but I'm sure I could earn a dollar for it. So this seems to be the best moneymaker per 
minute long shift. Goodbye, Mr. Airline MA. Is that Mallard Airlines, I guess? Godspeed! Speaking of final destination, watch the plane. It's going down, it's disintegrating. Yeah, that dollar was pretty rare to see when I was playing as a kid. You don't see that very much unless you have like a ton of money. So that was always like your ultimate goal. It's like, wow, a real dollar bill, Bob. All right, so my personal favorite, oh no, probably the fruit is my personal favorite, but the toys, the toys is actually kind of a scary one. I'll tell you why. Uh, actually, I'll show you why. All right, here we go. So this one, we're gonna work a two minute shift. Well, no, we're gonna work a three minute shift because this one takes a little bit longer. And then there's a shocker here. So here's three minutes. All right, so point is you grab this ladder right here, move it on over to where this matching toy is, pick her up, and upsy daisy. Now you'll see that timer at the bottom it says the Amquack special will pass in zero minutes and 39 seconds. So it's it really freaked me out as a kid. And so did that the, the Winnie the Pooh game that uh, Allo made did the same thing to me. It, it freaked me out. So in 30 seconds, the train will pass. And if you don't cover up the shelves, everything falls down and shatters. And I guess it costs you money or something. I don't know. Also, you can barely tell this white thing is here. But just the fact that there's this force of nature that's coming, like this earthquake. And if you don't batten down the hatches, then all of your hard work just goes right down the drain. It was kind of terrifying. Oh, oh, oh eight seconds. Oh, shit. It's getting louder. Five, four, three... Two, one, just in time! Oh, you god! There we go. I don't know why, but somehow when I was a kid, that just used to scare the crap out of me, and I would never play the toy store because of the Amquack special. And where in the heck are we in the United States where a train of that magnitude passes by every 45 seconds? So we worked, what, a three minute shift and we're moving at a really good clip and only made 90 cents now, a dollar, because you get to, oh, 20, no, 15 cents for every, uh, oh, I was fine where it was, uh, for every toy. So this takes, eh, probably not the best money maker, but probably the one that makes you use your brain the most. All right, so let's see, see if we can get the, oh, it goes here, okay. Oh, God. That's just to show you what happened. Oop. Let's leave it halfway uncovered. Oh no, we lost one. Actually, did that cost me any money at all? I... I am not certain. Next time the train passes, I'm gonna keep my eye on that and see if that actually does cost me money or if it's just purely cosmetic. I was never quite sure what these little bishop-looking things are. They look like bishops from a chessboard. But there's a whole bunch of them, so maybe they're supposed to be like dolls or something? I don't know. That's weird. Okay, so here comes the train. We have a dollar and 65 cents in our coffers. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh, yo, oh, yo, God, it's costing, me a, it's costing me all of my money. Stop, 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 stop. Wow. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Maybe because that's the advanced mode that they all fall down like that? I think like I'm a beginner, maybe one or two things will fall down, but holy crap. Oops, hang on. Put that back. Gotta put the green bishop where it belongs. Well, I only got a second left anyway. Oh, man, that cost me half of my money, that stupid train. Anyway, I don't think the Toy Store is a really good money maker, so let's go to the railroad game, which I think has the highest earning potential, but it can be really tricky. All right. Let's work a two-minute shift on this one, because this one goes really fast. All right, so we need to shift this over here so it goes to Duck's Landing, and then back around to Duck Corners. Every delivery makes 30 cents, I think, and the train moves really fast. There we go. So he needs to go to Duck Valley, so we'll switch this over. Oh, and three, and three, and three. Go up, up. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. All right, so it's going to go back around, so we're going to switch this back over here, and then four, and five. Should take him straight to Duckville. Now the Amquack is working on my side rather than against me. So is operating the entire railroad system in Duckburg like a completely volunteer? Yeah, it's like, I'm just coming off the street and making 30 cents a delivery. That seems really risky. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, no. I was playing around too much. Must get over there. Gah. Got it. 
Wow, 270. After this, I'm gonna grind up a couple of bucks so I can show you that I can buy like everything I need for the playground. But uh, I think it's either this or um, the fruit catching thing would be the highest money maker on the highest difficulty setting. I'm really curious. Let's find out. Maybe it's not gonna have the time to get there. Whatever. 270. Look at that. Stacking up them bills. I wonder how high this can go, just out of curiosity. I wonder if you could just make $100. Alright, I'm gonna make a couple more bucks. Be with you in a minute, folks. I like when he quacks just like that for a quick second, because it just sounds like it says, Fuck! Ooh, five dollars, oh wait, three dollars and fifty-four cents. Not too shabby. Okay, I think we have enough money now, but I can find, I think I can actually buy everything, but, uh, let's do it. All right, so now there's three places I can go to buy toys. First is what I thought for years was the Sayo store, because it looks like S-E-Y-O maybe, but I think it's supposed to be the five and dime, like five and ten, so, heh, live and learn. Eh, ah, Minnie Mouse runs this little den of iniquity. I'm noticing something. Wait a minute. Wait a second. I'm not sure if this is a consequence of the advanced difficulty, but when I was trying this again on advanced, the monkey bars cost seriously 60 cents. But now that I have $9.12, I think the game is actually taking a percentage or taking into account how much money you have. Interesting. I thought I'd just be able to afford everything at this point. I guess I was wrong. Well, anyway, so we can buy a ladder, a swing, which is broken. It's always been like that, I think. Let's see, who runs the junk store? Goofy, most likely. Yeah, there he is. Looking as goofy as ever. So the tire swing. What was my favorite? Tire swing was always one of my faves. Pay for that. So now it has you make change. So we want a dollar and 14 cents. So here we go. So there's a dollar. And, oh, 14 cents. Oh, I gotta do this four times. And then, total. Press button to leave. Your purchases will be delivered. Oh, yuck. There we go. So we just do that a million times. Oh, I don't have enough money. Oh, I was trying to buy everything all at once. Drat. My mathematics skills need some more work. Now, what I kind of like about it, in, in the educational sense, is it doesn't tell you how much is on the counter right now. You have to keep track. Which I like. Will it make change? Because I don't have four pennies. So hopefully if I give her that, she'll give me a penny back. Oh, I gotta take my own change? What does she do? If she wanna take change, I'm gonna take 20 bucks. No, okay, fine. There we go. Oh, you have to make your own change. Oh, that's nice. I wonder if Gray would ever like to play these games when he becomes, you know, he has the age of reason. All right, so we've got three toys. For the playground, now it's finally time to show the playground. Look to the right, look to the left. Uh. There we go. So first thing we have to do, so we got Huey, Dewey, Louie down there. He's the Huey. I would always reset until I got the blue one because he was my favorite color. All right, so now we can move things around. And if you have a ladder, you can access the topmost portions. Okay, let's just move everything down to the lower level so we can see it. Nope, red one. Uh, red one again. Red. There he is, we got him. So now you can just navigate uh, your little narrowed and then you can go wherever he wants and you can play on all the toys. Whee! Da 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 da, with the jaunty music, it's great. And I'd love to see this kind of playground which is built on this sort of ever expanding grid system. Yeah, yeah, ding, 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 ding. There's like slides and swings and all kinds of stuff. Ladders. I forgot what was my favorite. I've always liked the rings. I like the toys that make them look like they have, um, like their mouths are open, like they're enjoying themselves. Yay! All right, now the real work begins. Look to the left, look to the right. Blah, blah. Oh, yeah, yeah, just like that. Whoa. Sorry, I almost messed myself up. Yeah, 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 I messed myself up good. I think this is the first time in this game I have ever seen a $5 bill. Whoa. 
I, I remember liking the cargo net a lot for some reason. So I get the cargo net. I can't afford the ship's wheel yet. I remember liking that one too. I, I did this for hours. <laughs> Whee! So that's Donald Duck's playground in a nutshell. I think I actually may even take some time to fill out this entire playground and just kind of show you what everything does. But, eh, maybe we'll save that for another time. I got other things to do. So for now, we'll leave Huey and or Dewey and or Louie swinging happily on the rings for all eternity. So until next time, good night, Jelly Beans. Good night.